Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, time for another build. Today it's more of a revisit. You can probably already tell by the title, but the intention of this is to revisit the X-Wing build. Now I originally built the X-Wing two and a half years ago, give or take, and it was one of my first five Metal Earth builds, one of my first videos. I had a very, a rather old digital camera, almost no editing skills, no real lightning to speak of, and very little in the way of audio recording. It's, it's not that good of a video in my opinion. It's one of the more popular, if not right now, the most popular video on my channel, but I want to do better and I've been wanting to do better for quite some time. So I've gotten another X-Wing and I have built it a second time. I have recorded it and I've tried to do a better video with uh, better, closer, tighter shots, better editing, and better quality. If you're looking to build the X-Wing, you need to see how it's done, and you want some advice, this is the video. If you've watched the old one, well, this will probably provide more detail. Anyway, let's get started and build the X-Wing. Now here's the thing. This, what I'm building today, is not the actual Metal Earth model. It is a copy. It is less expensive. The metal is not quite the same. It's a little bit duller. But the purpose of this is not to review, promote, or insult the copy. I've chosen this because it is an exact copy. The only difference is the language. This is the only English shown here. The rest of it, the commentary, the notes, are all in what I can only assume is some sort of Mandarin or other Oriental language. The sheets are exactly the same. They're numbered exactly the same. And very importantly, the steps are exactly the same. Starting with part one, you add in part two. It might be a slight difference in appearance in some areas, but I think with this particular model, everything is exactly the same. The assembly steps are identical. The parts are the same. They come together the same. So, I'm using this, quite frankly, because it is less expensive, and I'm not necessarily looking for another model to add to my collection. I want to redo this video and I'd rather save the money for the new stuff. So this is what I'm going to build. I, as a matter of fact, I'm going to put these directions away and I'm going to use the original Metal Earth directions because it is exactly the same. And with that, I am going to review the directions because I understand them better than when I made my first video. You have at the start the Metal Earth you know, title, the QR code to scan and see the online view, see the 360 online view, here's the line drawing. You have these little notations down here. Uh, this is showing you one of the parts, it's telling you the insertion tabs, insertion holes and fold lines. It tells you what they are and what they mean. You know, the insertion tabs go into the insertion holes and fold lines are where you're supposed to fold things at. Neon nose pliers are helpful for assembly. That's in pretty well everything, I believe. And what I always refer to as a legend, when you see a blue circle beside a connection, that means to bend that tab over. The green triangle is indicating to twist the tab 90 degrees to secure it. And then down here we have the sheets. And again, they are identical they're just made out of a different metal but this shows you where the parts are so you can find them on the sheets and then we go basically this is split up into quarters you've got the top half the first quarter is the information the next quarter over here is the start of the assembly flowchart and you just follow that bending and adding the parts together as the instructions indicate. Once you get to the center of the page, because this is folded in half, you go to the bottom quarter, bottom left quarter, and you pick up a five, and you find, follow these, follow the arrows, and, and fold and bend and put together. At the bottom of this, you jump over to this quarter, 
and follow these arrows and directions when you get to the bottom. We flip to the back. I am once again going to fold it in half. And at the top left quarter, we pick up with 17 and 18, 14, 15, 16, and this shows, this is like the sub-assembly for that engine and how that comes together. This is the sub-assembly of how this engine comes together. These two parts come together here, these parts come together for this, and those two come together for that. Same up here. These two parts make this, this series of parts make that, they come together, and this all goes here. And then you jump over to the next quarter, same sort of directions, two more engines, jumps to the bottom of the page to the bottom left quarter, pick up the 23, 24, 25, and just continue following the arrows, doing the sub-assemblies, and then the final quarter here on the right, and you get to the bottom, and you are all done. So I have briefly gone over the directions, taken a quick peek at the metal sheets, we're going to use the Metal Earth directions to put this together because this is an exact copy. And I am going to try and limit myself to this tool set from your Toy Mart, which is something they sent. And I want to test it out for myself. It also has a mat that you can use. I'm pretty comfortable with this table for right now, but it is a nice parts to include in the, in the set. I'm going to try to build it with just these tools. I'm going to try and do a better, closer examination of what I'm doing to make a better video. So, let's put it together. I use the front of parts two to shape the center of part one. I do like to use my fingernails a lot to bend over tabs. Try to hold things firmly when bending over the cockpit frame. The metal will easily bend the wrong way and warp. The next few steps are probably the most tedious. The parts are tiny and will break easily. With part 7, I only bend the side pieces a little bit to set the crease and get the bend started, but I wanted to leave room to add in part 6 without much trouble.
The last time I built the X-Wing, I believe I broke parts off the Astromech's head. A trick I like to use when tabs are close together and need to be bent in is to pinch them against each other. It rarely ever bends both of them all the way down, but it can start them bending making it easier to push them the rest of the way. Another mistake I made on my previous build was when I put the two X wings together. I put one of them backwards. The side of the wing facing outwards has less detail and big blank spots near the joint. The inside of the wing will have more detail because the parts from here out attach to the outer part of the wing. I recommend securing part 17 before bending any of the sides of part 18 or like parts. You will have an easier time of accessing the tabs to twist them. I also suggest waiting to bend the other tabs over until after attaching the two halves of the engine. The tabs are right on the bend angle and it will be hard to get to and twist and bend if you bend the sides down first.
I forgot the rear tab. I almost skipped it, but it is important in keeping the rear part in place. Otherwise, it would be too easily to break off the little flap. At this point, you will repeat the steps to make each engine. Some of the parts are the same, like parts 15, 16, and 17, while the other two parts of the engine change slightly, but fold the same way. This video has been edited down. I've not shown all the different attempts, adjustments, or retries of this build. I also clip out parts where I am studying directions, searching for and clipping parts, and sometimes repetitive steps. It may make this kit look like it comes together easier than it did, but there are a lot of bending and adjusting of parts to make things fit. Work slowly, be patient, and take your time. The guns, like the engines, are the same steps four times over. The only difference is the main part that changes slightly per wingtip.
And again, I give you the X-Wing. And this is my second time building it. Again, I wanted to do this again to go through the steps to make a better video to better show you what to do, what not to do, and how it comes together. This is not a Metal Earth model. This is a copy of. It's a pretty good copy. And all the steps are exactly the same. All the parts are the same pretty much just a different kind of metal so it doesn't have that nice shine to it. Now I honestly did this in part to save myself some money and in part out of curiosity of copycat kits to just kind of grab a couple and see what they're like. But it gives me an opportunity to redo this video because I don't even have the footage of the original and even if I did it's not that good a quality. It was an old camera. But I'm able to redo it. It's a very popular video. This will give you some better instructions. At least that's the hope. If you have the Metal Earth model and you're wanting to build it and you're looking for a guide, watch this video. Don't let this video discourage you because this comes together the same way. Even though it's a copy, it is an exact copy. As a matter of fact, I tossed away the directions that came with these sheets and used the original Metal Earth instructions and assembly chart that I got the first time I built it because I hung on to those. So it is the same model. It comes together the same way. The same advice applies. I've got enough experience now doing this. I feel like this one came out a little bit better than the last, but not a huge difference. And I have a better set of tools, so it was a little easier. It took me about two hours to do. I don't remember how long it took the first time. I would not be surprised if it took more than two, just because I know more of what I'm doing now. I'm not sure where I'm going to put this one because I already have a display full of all the Star Wars models. But I'm sure I'll figure something out. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Thank you for watching and keep on keeping on.